my name is Penny and this is Penny's Art Emporium. And I'm very excited today, I'm going to do one of my really large heart paintings and I have got this lovely Loxley canvas which is about 80 centimetres by about 60 centimetres, 24 inches by 30 inches and a lovely deep edge, it's one of my favourite canvases to use. So I'm going to do this really lovely painting. I've got all my really lovely colours already and what I have been doing today is going through some of my older videos. Um, I've got them written down, what I've got here. So video 96, 115, 130, 136 and 139 and those are my heart paintings that I've done before. And I've just gone through the videos and looked at all the lovely combinations of different colours. And from my last painting as well, when I did my long flower painting, looking at all the different colours of flowers that go together nicely and the different techniques with my balloons. And normally with my flower paintings for my hearts, I just use my straw and my balloons as well for the flowers but this time I thought I would also use the technique that I've used on some others where I put four um, round puddles and do those four petals before I do the centre so I have a nice mix of different shapes of flowers and some lovely colours and for my background I've just got out all these really lovely light pastel colours and of course the 24 karat gold because I always like to have those very nice subtle colours in the background and uh, I'll probably have more greens kind of in the middle of the heart. So I will get started with that. I'll put it onto hyperlapse for you to see and we'll see what I end up with. So here I am, I'm just about to put my base down and as you can see I have put this lovely white heart with the base paint in the middle and I'm going to leave the outline of that heart uh, without any paint on it because I've already drawn on the shape of the heart and I don't want to lose that. I've got it so that it's relatively symmetrical and in the centre of the canvas where I want it to be. So I'm just going to leave that raw canvas in the middle and now I'm just making sure that my edges are lovely and neat and tidy and it's all lovely and smooth ready for me to start to add my pastel colours and I've got all my pastel colours uh, to hand that's the metallic white and again I've drawn that shape on again and now I'm just adding my lovely pastel metallic colours onto this white background. There's metallic white and there's a nice peppermint and a nice blue topaz, 24 karat gold. Adding all those lovely dots and pink. And I'm doing pink, white and green around the edge of the heart as well. And that's a nice lavender colour, banana yellow. So you can see I'm still outlining that heart there, just so that I won't lose the shape. Nice chartreuse green by Arteza. And now my balloon dips. I love this bit, it makes such a pretty pattern and all the edges of this beautiful Loxley deep edge canvas I'm keeping completely white so none of the paint is going over the edges at all and it makes a really nice frame for the painting where the balloon dips make a lovely pattern around the edge and then I'm going to use a different balloon just for that heart, for that outline, so I can still see where it is, but just a different balloon, just so that it blends those colours together. 
nicely and I'm measuring to make sure that I still haven't lost the shape of the heart measuring to make sure that everything is still relatively symmetrical and now I'm going to start adding all the colours for my flowers on there and some of them are going to have four separate petals and some of them I'm just going to have one puddle of paint with different colours in it and what I'm trying to do is make it again relatively symmetrical because I found that it works better if the colours balance on each side of the painting and I've already thought about what colours go nicely together and what colours will be nice next to each other and I've got all my paints to hand and even though I don't know exactly what colour I'm going to put where I can just see as I'm going along and adding where I think it could do with a warm colour or a cool colour or something bright or something more subtle so that it just balances out a little bit and also I'm mixing between the metallic colours in the flowers and also the flatter kind of colours that haven't got much shimmer to them so that the flowers again will all look different next to each other. I want all these flowers to look very individual and to have different shapes to them. And a mixture as well of as dark colours and light colours in the same flowers so that you can see the contrast. And I'm tending to put the darker colours in the centre of the flowers as well. And now I'm going to go with my straw and just make some very petal like shapes. I'm going to work on each flower individually and add colours as I go to just make each flower really pretty. And also with some of them just to let the paint settle a little bit before I add a centre or something like that. And I can always go over each flower as well just to add bits where I want it to be. And I can keep going over it because the paint will stay wet for quite a long time. The edge is dry but the centre, because there's quite a lot of paint in the centre, it takes a while for it to dry so I can work on it for a little while and just use different techniques with my straws and balloons and then later on my sticks. So I will let you continue to watch that and we'll have a look at the results when I have finished when it is all wet.
is this painting. I have just fiddled with it just a little bit, adding a few flowers and little tenderly green bits and just tidying up the flowers and trying to make sure that they looked really pretty. You can see that it is drying off a little bit um, because you can see those metallic colours coming through particularly on the balloon dips that I did first and it will look lovely when that is all dry. Um, and then these red flowers are quite dominant but they'll be really pretty when they dry. The gold and the red will break up a little bit and they'll look a little bit more delicate. And I will try to spin this a little bit for you to see. Because it's so big it's a bit difficult for me to show you all of it. We've got some little green sort of tenderly bits. And some flowers in the centre, I will add little dots when it is dry. And then there's lots of lovely little, very bright little flowers. And then that centre bit there, which is really nice. So all the flowers are looking very individual. I tried to keep it so that they didn't look the same and tried to vary the colours a little bit just so that they'd all look nice together. So they all look lovely and I think that together the whole thing will be really nice when it dries. So that is it for now. I'll let you see that again when it is dry. Bye for now. So here is this painting. I've added a few little details, just a few little tiny flowers, just to balance the colours a little bit and just to give the painting just a little bit extra. And I've also added a few little green sort of leaves and stalks here and there, just to, again, add something more to it. And I have put this painting on this particular wall so that you can see the sun coming through from the window and how bright that looks in the sun. But equally you can see on the other side where it's shady how it will look different in different lights. And I will also show you the difference between, for example, on this side um, you can't really see the metallic details catching the light but if I bring you the other way where the light comes through just look how bright and shiny <laughs> those little glistening bits are which are really really pretty and you can see all that background how all those balloon dips come to life and they're just so pretty just really nice. I just really like these paintings. I just like the contrasts of them and I love the brightness of them. But from the other angle, it, it doesn't look quite so bright and it doesn't catch the light on the metallic bits as much. So it just means that it always looks different. And I think it's a painting that you could keep looking at and just find lots of details. I think you wouldn't get bored with looking at it. 
So I'm going to bring you in for a close-up of all those individual flowers and you'll be able to see how pretty they look. So you've got those two lovely orange and red and gold poppy style flowers and then that really nice pink one with a few little flowers around the edge and leaves and then this lovely subtle lilac one there which is lovely the way all those colours have blended together in that one flower and you've got the orange which is lovely and bright and that pink is just so nice it's very very pretty very very bright and vibrant and the blue again it looks different from different angles and that's a green one there and then this pink one doesn't have quite as much metallic in it but i like the contrast to have the different flowers so they don't all look the same and that is beautiful that gold and orange and a bit of garnet in there and again beautiful pink one and then I like the green because I think the green just breaks the whole thing up a bit of orange and red beautiful lilac again not much metallic in that one and this pink one I mean that is just so pretty with all those lovely layers and delicate edges which greenery in the background and then it's kind of symmetrical on the other side the flowers of course will never be exactly the same but then they wouldn't be in real life either so all the flowers are very different from each other nice orange so I just don't think you'd get bored looking at that. It's always going to look very pretty. So thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you again next time. Bye bye.